Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July TBR. I do play a TBR game called Roll the Dice with a Dash of Chaos, inspired by Jessie May and Sam from A Life of Lit. They are linked in my description box. Before hopping too far into it, if you're new here, hello, my name is Emily. This is McGinnis Mama, where you will find mostly bookish content. So if that is something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. But let's just dive right in. So I recap my June TBR. I had a fantastic reading month in June. However, I did not complete two out of three of my challenges. So instead of taking a challenge for July, because I read so many books in June, um, and we'll get into like item by item in a second, uh, because I read so many books and the challenges have to do with video projects that are ongoing, I'm going to roll those two reading vlog secret projects over into July. So we're going to be like adding those books into July without me telling you what they are. Um, so keep that in mind. That's why I'm not drawing in another challenge because the challenges from June will be completed just not in time and I can't just keep stacking them on. Okay let's go over. So the first challenge was each kid gets to pick a book for me. They have. I'm filming a vlog for that. I'm not quite done reading all of those books. And the other challenge was a secret TBR challenge, so I'm not telling you anything about that one, but there is potentially going to be a lot of books read in that vlog because of what I'm doing. So those are getting rolled over. Now I'm just going to go through the rolls really quickly. Roll number one, over 500 pages, Air of Fire. I did read that. Random Color, I got Orange, People We Meet on Vacation. I did read that. I got Flawless by Elsie Silver. I did read that. Then Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I did read that. Robin Hobb Prompt, my next book in Elder, The Elderling World, is Assassin's Quest. And unfortunately, I did not get to that. And lastly, Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. And I did read that. Now, before hopping into the roles for my July TBR, I did just want to let you know about some of my reading commitments, and we will see if we can fit any of these in with my roles. So first up, this is for Backlist Book Club. The live show is not until the second weekend in July, and I still have not read Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, and this is a priority series for me to pick up. So I do hope to pick this up at the beginning of July. And then for the Fantasy Romance Book Club hosted by Sahar at Basically Bookish Reads, in July we are reading Children of Fallen Gods by Carissa Broadbent, the sequel to Daughter of No Worlds. Is this the War of Lost Hearts trilogy. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Um, it is available on Kindle Unlimited and that is how I'm reading it. And then for Buddy Reads, Linda and I are continuing our Buddy Read, oh sorry for the glare, of Anne of Green Gables. We are halfway through at this point and I'm really enjoying this. This is a Canadian children's classic. It's a story I'm very familiar with. The really old movie was one of my favorite movies as a child. I watched it so much and right now I'm listening to the audiobook and the narrator does such a good job where a lot of the voices sound very true to the old movie as well and I can't wait to rewatch the old movie as well as Anne with an E, the Netflix series and this is just feeling so nostalgic and nice for me. Even though it's a classic, I'm having a great time. And then Sam and I are continuing our Throne of Glass buddy read, so I'm going to try and get Queen of Shadows on as well. So that's quite a lot of commitments, plus my two reading vlog video projects rolling over, plus another vlog I'm working on. We're, I'm hoping my momentum continues after such a great reading month in June. I'm hoping for the same in July, but let's go and play Roll the Dice with a Dash of Chaos and I'll meet you right back here. All right, I am ready to start rolling the dice for my July TBR game, but to kick things off, we need to pull two out of my TBR jar. Okay. 
We have Love on the Brain. And Warbreaker. So I'll put those on the board and fill in the rest of the spaces with my KU TBR and my physical TBR, and then we will get rolling. All right, I've gotten those on the board. We don't have a lot of spaces for uh, me to choose my book right out of the gate. We have a lot of prompts on here, three of both easy and hard. All right, let's do roll number one. Seven, Warbreaker. Roll number two. Five, Love on the Brain. Okay, that works out really well. Roll number three. An easy prompt. Emmett, can you pull out one paper? Is that one? Yeah. Thank you. 12 recommendations from 12 friends. I have not revisited that in a very long time, so this is great. Roll number four. Nine, a hard prompt. Emmett, can you pull out of this black bin, please? Yeah. Just one piece of paper. Thank you. This one actually doesn't have anything on it so if you have a hard prompt suggestion then you can please let me know. Wyatt can you pull out of the black bin please? Okay. Um, Wyatt's turn. What is it? Emmett. Wyatt's turn okay. Over 500. A book over 500 pages. Okay. Now let's run. Roll number five. Six, easy prompt. Emmett, can you pull out of the orange? Six, now at my turn. Thank you. What is it? I want to read it. Middle grade. Roll number six, final roll. I heard prompt. Wyatt, can you choose out of the black bin, please? Can you show? A claptation. <laughs> An adaptation. Okay. So as you saw, the game was actually very nice to me, except that I'm not sure how many like required reads I was able to get on this so I still think my stack for July is ginormous. So my two TBR jar picks were Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood and Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is a contemporary romance. It's actually my mom's book so that is why it's on These Books Will Self-Destruct because I should read it and return it. And then Warbreaker I bought a very long time ago and is something I would love to get to. So far it's a standalone adult fantasy and this is a good introductory place to Brandon Sanderson especially if you love romance or fantasy romance. I have read three full-length Brandon Sanderson books plus some of the novellas so this isn't where I'm starting but I'm really looking forward to this. And Role number one was Warbreaker, and role number two was Love on the Brain. So these are officially on my July TBR, and I'm actually really excited about both of these picks. Role number three was the 12 Recommendations by 12 Friends reading challenge that I put together in, uh, well, I didn't put it together. It was on Instagram, and I did get friends to rec recommend books to me, and... I would have to go check but I think maybe I've read like one out of all of them which is awful and I've gotten this prompt before. I have chosen this book for it before and I still haven't read it so I promised to read it this time. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I must read this. I, it's a book I know that I'm going to love but it's like 
I'm resistant to hyped books because I'm so scared to not like it. So this is a historical fiction novel following Evelyn Hugo, who is like Marilyn Monroe-esque, and she is giving her life story to a journalist, ooh, a magazine reporter, um, and I'm, I'm, oh, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so excited about it. I'm so embarrassed I haven't read it yet, especially since it's been on many a TBR, but hopefully July is the month. Rule number four was a book over 500 pages. I had a few options for that, Children of Fallen Gods or Queen of Shadows. And I'm going to put on Queen of Shadows because I know for sure I'm going to be reading this because Sam and I do five chapters a day. So there is no way for me to back out of reading this. And that will be like a for sure check mark for my July TBR if that makes sense. I'm just going to assume once again that you know what Throne of Glass is about because I've been chatting about it once a month for a year and a half. Roll number five was a middle grade, a middle grade? I stuttered over that, didn't I? And this is going to seem completely out of the blue, but it will make sense. It goes with one of my video projects. <laughs> I will be reading The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, the second book in the His Dark Materials. This is a bind up or an omnibus. Is that even how you say it? I'm not even sure. So this is the trilogy in one book. I will just be reading the second in the trilogy. This is a middle grade polar fantasy. Reading this in July was not really my intention, but like I said, it's for a video project. It's a middle grade and it fits in this prompt, so that's like two birds, one stone. Lastly, for roll number six, I got Adaptation, and I will be putting in Anne of Green Gables in for this. So I'm going to finish my buddy read with Linda, and then I will be watching the Netflix series. So for Adaptation, I don't like have to watch the adaptation but I really want to in this case anyways so this has been adapted many a time and I'm excited to finish this like I said I'm halfway through so kind of cheating but I need the win so I did not get Red Sister on or Children of Fallen Gods that one is very chunky as well plus my two video slash three video projects, but two of them are for challenges from June. I'll be taking a punishment challenge in August. I can almost guarantee that. But that is my July TBR. Can I pick it up? I don't even have all the books facing the same direction. What am I doing? Let's get these turned around and see if I can pick it up. Oh gosh. They're all stacked on my lap. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is what we're looking like. It's only a third of this one, but then we're adding Children of Fallen Gods on up here. My wrist is like breaking. This is huge. Okay, I'm gonna restack this for my thumbnail, but um, again, plus all the books I'm not telling you about. I'm a little nervous about this, to be honest. And the, like, the board was nice to me. There was no challenges. There was no crazy, like, to combine two hard prompts, things like that. No, like, randomization things, like random emoji, random color. Those can be tricky sometimes. And I'm still worried about completing this TBR. That seems so silly. But alas, here we are. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. Sorry, I'm out of breath for holding up that stack of books. That's pathetic. Uh, you'll have to let me know what is on your July TBR. Am I missing things? Ooh, I definitely am. The Mating Games by Kay Lorraine is a buddy read I want to participate in. That's on my Kindle, if I can fit that in. I think those will, those will be super fast read. It's a reverse harem series. Um, and the it's a buddy read in, the disc, in a Discord I'm a part of. I'm stuttering, but 
I'm feeling a little overwhelmed just like visually seeing the stack of books and knowing all the videos I want to get up in July but honestly I'm having the best time reading and I love a challenge even though I <laughs> never win at the challenges but I just think they're fun and I I'm just excited about summer reading. I don't feel like many of these are very summery though. Maybe love on the brain, right? Okay, I need to stop rambling. Let me know what you're reading in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.